Richard. Before we start the review, I just want to ask you guys your opinion on the new intro. I personally like it a lot better. We've had a hard time uh, finding an intro that we really like. Uh, a couple people have said our first intro was too long. I kind of agree. I always, when I, when I uh, was watching our videos on YouTube, I always fast forwarded the intro. It was just too long. Totally agree with those people that complain about it. Second intro, we filmed the Wacky Warriors. There's people in the background yelling, shooting their paintball guns. Just, it's, I, it wasn't a very solid intro, and I didn't go over very many things. So this new intro that you just saw, I like a lot better. It's only 10 seconds long. Uh, we'll be changing up the music uh, whenever we feel like we, it needs to be changed up and, you know, throw a little spice into that. Um, if there's any music that you think will go with it, please comment. Uh, like this video and just watch all about our videos. Now let's get into the review. Hey guys, this is Josh from Team SAS. Here's a technical gear review of the TAN UTG Tactical Vest. Now before you get into the review, sorry about the noise in the background. Uh, neighbors are doing some yard they hired lawn people. I can't do anything about it, so sorry about that. Uh, but here is everything that this vest comes with. Uh, I got it for $103 uh, uh, from the big shop in Edwardsville, Illinois. Now, I mean, $103 is a lot of money, but it comes with everything you see here. It comes with two uh, drop leg, leg panel, panel things. And now, everything on this is Molly, so you can put any of these attachments that you see on the anywhere you want. You can put them on the back, you can put the mags on your legs, anything you want. But anyway, it comes with two uh, uh, pistol magazine holders that I have speed loaders in right now. It comes with a drop leg pistol holster with a magazine holder on the front. They say the KWA Mac 11 does not fit in here, but I tried, and it does fit. I'll show you that in a second. On the other side, I put the utility pouch on, which also has Molly on the front. So then, you open it up. What I have in here are grenades. Now, the grenades do fit in here. The tactical smoke grenade does fit in here. So, when you want to do that, that does fit, and this fits upside down. So, those do fit. So, if you want to do that, those do fit. And I prefer not to carry this around, only if I'm on large operations, which I'm not. Uh, there aren't really many in Missouri. I'm, I have not found one yet. It comes with a <clears throat> very big radio holder for your radio and your communication devices comes with two pouches, right one right there and one right there for that. So that's nice. On the front it comes of the radio pouch, it comes with this buckled and velcros so you can put a knife or whatever you want in there. So that's nice. It comes with four or two double holding M4 magazine pouches. These only hold one magazine. As you can see, uh, they're not two magazines are not going to fit in there. Also for your extra magazine that you do not want. It comes with a nice uh, Molly dump pouch. Very nice, very big. Can hold all the mags that you want on here. So, um, right here, you got a, I'm not totally sure what this is for. My grenades do not fit in here. And my Uzi magazine does not fit in here. So I'm guessing it is just another um, pistol magazine holster. Back for Molly, so if you want to mount a hydration carrier, you can do that. This is fully adjustable. Um, right here, you have your clips. So, three clips, those are adjustable. Those are fully adjusted right now. So then, it also zips down to take off. So that's what you got right there. On the side, right here, as you can see, there are three buckles for adjusting, and on the other side, there are as well. Um, the belt that I have on, uh, I just find it more easy to do. The belt is not attached to the tactical vest, but usually what you sh what it comes to do is you put the belt through here, and as you can see, I have them all the way around. But the belt, this, un this unbuckles like this, and then it rebuckles in the same way, like that. And then, as you can see, 
there's Velcro all in here, and these straps right here, as you can see, that goes through, so you tighten that to however you want in there. The drop legs, they go over and they buckle and they clip around your legs, so for a lot of adjusting, this is a very nice tactical vest, fully adjustable. Um, this is fully adjustable on me right now, and I mean, I'm pretty, I mean, I'm not a really skinny person, but I'm not, I mean, I'm not fat, so I mean, for a bigger person, a bulkier person, this would be great. Um, the leg holsters, they are not the best. They, I mean, they don't, like, fit on me the best. But what I found out to do is really are just supposed to clip this one part around. But the adjuster, I put the adjusters through my legs so they fit better. So, I mean, you can do that if you're my size. I'm only 12, so, you know. But as I said, this is all Motley vest. You can adjust this any way you want. You can put magazines all over. You can put magazines on your back. You, I mean, you can do anything when you want. Liam on our team has this video, uh, not video. He has this tactical vest, but an ACU. He has a loadout video. Check that out. It's very cool. Um, we can have, we'll have some footage of me in a battle with just leg panels on. I do not have the tactical vest, but just a leg panels. But in conclusion, I would give this vest a, I would give it a 9 out of 10 because this, uh, the only reason that I don't give it a 10 is because the price is very expensive and not very many people can afford that. Um, but I give it the 9, that's the only point to take it off, this is an all molly vest, comes with tons of gear, comes with everything a starter air softer would need, but uh, I'm going to end up getting two more of these so I can mount them on both sides since I'm getting the mid caps in coming in the mail. But uh, that's basically it. This has been Josh from Team SIS and I hope you enjoy that little real footage. Real quickly before you guys go, I just wanted to show you, like I said, I would put the Mac 11 in. Uh, as you can see, it does fit. It's very nice, but nice and snug. But you just set it in there and then you clip this part over. This just kind of, you know, broke off. I can re uh, adjust that on, but I mean, this is a really nice vest, and I really do recommend it. Bing, bing, bam, dum, bam, 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 b